You might think you know what a chicken is or what it looks like. You might think a chicken could never surprise you, but you're very, very wrong. And, you know, the benefits of having Chickens can be a lot weirder than you think. You have no idea. These are chicken breeds you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Dong Tao Chicken What is up with this chicken? The Dong Tao Chicken looks like a regular chicken on the top, but look down and it's kind of like Godzilla swapped legs with the bird. It's really weird. The giant-footed poultry is highly prized in Vietnam. A rare and unusual bird, Dong Tao chickens are named Dragon Chicken. I guess because it literally has dragon legs. Historically, the breed was so fancy that it was bred for the royal Vietnamese to enjoy. But nowadays, these prized bird legs can be seen on menus in luxury restaurants. And those spooky dragon legs? Well, they're actually a delicacy. Dong Tao chickens are still mainly raised in the village of Dong Tao on the outskirts of Hanoi. These special birds are very expensive though, and they can fetch up to $2,000. To raise a chicken to be so valuable takes a whole lot of work. These are some super pampered animals. They're fed with a high protein diet, and their feet have to receive extra care. And they're also washed in a mix of salt and tea in order to keep them in tip-top condition. As a Dong Tao chicken gets older, so do its features grow bigger. And one of the top-selling birds could take as much as six or seven years of work in order to get them to such high standard and with such big feet. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Anagadori Breed What a fancy pants this chicken is. Such a proper show-off. The Anagadori is an ancient breed of chicken from Japan developed from a pretty humble, regular old sort of chicken, but over time was bred to grow an absolutely enormous tail of feathers. This tail often exceeds one and a half meters in length, but there are some examples that have been a massive 12 meters long, about as long as a city bus. Breeders of this special kind of bird go to great lengths <laughs> to keep the chicken's fancy tail in tip-top condition. And it is actually possible to prevent the tail from molting, allowing it to grow a staggering 1.3 meters per year. Just to give you an idea of how fast that is, your hair usually grows at a rate of about 15 centimeters per year. I wonder if you can actually see this chicken's tail growing in real time. Due to the incredible amount of effort that breeders put into developing and caring for their frilly-bottomed poultry, these birds are exclusively ornamental and are generally presented for prize winning and such in shows rather than being consumed. That wouldn't be good ergonomics. Number 13. Polish Chickens Now, these chickens have some serious barnets. The hairdos that Polish chickens are rocking are straight off of a catwalk at a Paris Fashion Week. The styles and colors of feathers that the Polish poultry can have do vary widely, and they can have quite a neat pom-pom do or shaggy mop. There are more hair styles amongst these ladies than you'll see even amongst a premier soccer league team. It's not all glitz and glamour, though. Their feathered heads are especially vulnerable to really gross infestations from mites and lice. <laughs> and one of the more silly aspects of having this much fashion sense is that it can get in the way. Sometimes older birds with more elaborate hairstyles struggle with vision trouble. Their feathers, well, they're literally growing all over their faces. It is possible for a great chicken owner to tame those head feathers a little so that their chicks don't keep bumping into stuff, but I mean, honestly, it's still bizarre, isn't it? What's next? Chicken grooming parlors? All the fluffy haired dude birds lining up under those big old dryers? Number 12. The IM Semini Chicken Breed 
This is one unusual chicken, and maybe the rarest one in the whole world. The glossy black feathers on the outside of this bird are also a clue to the color on the inside of this breed of chicken. That's right, the Iam Simony has black bones, black flesh, as well as black feathers. It would definitely be surprising to bite into your chicken tenders and discover that they were black inside, wouldn't it? Well, as strange as it might be, there are plenty of connoisseurs out there who reckon that the color of this meat also adds a richness and a tastiness unlike its paler fleshed cousins. They don't, however, lay black eggs, which is a shame because that would be awesome. Scientists have discovered that the I am Simony chicken is one of a very few breed of animals who have a condition called fibromelanosis, meaning that the birds make so many pigment cells that these migrate to parts of their bodies that don't usually receive color like this. It's caused by a mutation in the genes, which may well trace back to a chicken even thousands of years ago. These hyperpigmented chickens are highly sought after amongst breeders and fancy diners alike. A juvenile chicken can sell for as much as $400, so you're not likely to discover that your takeaway chicken burger has suddenly been switched out. Not unless you buy your snacks at Michelin restaurants, that is. Number 11. The Sultan, or Sarai Teyuk. This fancy pants chicken is an unusual sight. The Sultan Chicken, also known as the Sarai Teyuk, was introduced in England from Turkey in the 19th century. They are indeed chicken royalty, although their blood isn't blue. Sultan chickens were bred for the royal court in Istanbul as an ornamental bird and also for their meat. Bred in England, the Sultan would then be taken to the United States in 1867, so the frilly birds have actually been around a while. They do draw attention from chicken-loving people, both the kind that enjoy keeping them and the ones that like to eat them. Their hilarious and bonkers haircuts make them a great addition to the chicken coop. And they're also considered reasonably good layers. Sultans are also often showbirds as they're apparently not bothered by being judged, probably because they know how beautiful they are. In kitchen-based appeal, the breed is enjoyed for its good flavor and has big breasts. Make out of that statement whatever you'd like. <laughs> However, the sad thing is that the Sultan is actually considered to be critical on the extinction list. So, if you do end up finding one of these mop-headed, five-toed royal chickens irresistible, then perhaps it's time to get one. These birds are fussy and do require a lot of care, plus they don't get on well with other breeds, so it may just become a full-time occupation in order to take care of only a few of these fancy fellas. Oh, and when it comes to cold or wet weather, they're total chickens. Number 10. The Silky Chicken Breed this funny-looking chicken has an interesting history. An ancient breed of chicken, it does have something of a dinosaur appeal about it. That's believed to have originated in China. A fluffy and pom-pom hairdo appearance makes this chicken stand out in a crowd. And like the I Am Simony that we've already met, the Silky also has black skin and bones. This is one of the reasons that the Silky has long been associated with magic and ancient medicinal stuff. These birds have been recorded throughout history, all the way back to 1290, when Marco Polo would note that there was a furry chicken in the Far East. Then later on in 1598 in Italy, there's also evidence of a chicken with a fur-like black coat. So, these fancy guys have been making people stop and look for centuries. When they were introduced to the general public in Europe, it was often as part of a traveling carnival, where they were said to have been bred from rabbits and chickens and were shown as bird mammals to gawping 19th century crowds. Still turning heads in the 21st century, these bonkers looking balls of fluff are popular as pets and as showbirds alike. They're big softies, enjoying being cuddled, which is, well, really, just since they're so fluffy, it's impossible not to touch them. Word of warning, though, don't get them wet. 
not in a gremlins after midnight kind of way, though it would really be interesting to see, their feathers aren't actually waterproof and they can catch a chill faster than a Victorian lady in a melodrama. So you're going to need to get the blow dryer out or that delicate little bird might literally catch their death. Number nine, rumpless Arocana chicken. Well, I've seen a bunch of chickens with hilarious hairstyles, but how about one that sports a frilly collar like a Tudor monarch and lays blue eggs? The rumpless aracana really is rumpless. These chickens have a small bottom, where others are known for their fancy rear ends and frilly tail feathers. The aracana keeps its decoration round its neck. What this bird may lack in the posterior, it makes up for in other charms. So the keeping and breeding of this breed remains popular, if frankly even a little bit odd. The tufts of feathers around the bird's neck are actually positioned just below where its ears are. So these are often referred to as tufted ears. I'm not really sure how good their hearing is, with them being all stuffed up with fluffy earmuffs, and this along with the chicken's unusual lack of a butt, is the feature that breeders are most interested in. It is also apparently what makes the breed so difficult to rear. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? The tufted ear gene also causes the most problems in getting these extraordinary birds to survive. All of this intense breeding has made a gene that makes them frilly, but also a gene that will likely kill them before they even hatch. You just have to wonder what it's all for, really. Number eight, Sarama chicken. These mini chickens are a bantam breed, so they're just little dinky creatures. They measure at a super cute six inches on the lower end of things and up to 10 inches otherwise. Their diminutive stature ensures that these little chaps are really popular as pets, and they come in every color of the rainbow too. These chickens are posers though. They've been bred to be show chickens, and they certainly know how to strike a pose. They can actually be trained to do it. Did you ever imagine there was such a thing as a voguing chicken? Sarama chickens are a really funny shape and some of them are known as ball shape. They're really uptight with a round, sticky out chest, giving ball shaped chickens a super confident strut. Then there are apple shaped Sarama. They have a lower but still poking out sort of chest. However, the really weird ones are the Dragon Sarama, the super extreme version of the breed that looks like it has all the right chicken features, but they've been put together in the wrong order. The Dragon Sarama has such a high breast that its head is lower than its chest, which is completely bizarre and frankly really uncomfortable looking. Honestly, is this chicken even a real thing? Because it just looks so wrong and I can't get my head around it. And neither can it by the looks of it. I doubt it even has ever seen its own feet. It's just strange. Number seven, Scott's Dumpy. Dumpy would be the right word for these short-legged creatures. Scott's Dumpy chickens have round big bodies and teeny super short legs. A combo gives them a waddle when they walk. So they're also known as crawlers, bakies, and creepies. Imagine the nicknames in a lovely Scottish accent if you can. I can't do one though. The ancestors of the Scots Dumpy breed can be traced all the way back to 900 AD when it's believed that the Picts used to keep similar chickens in their camps. The chickens would warn of any approaching enemies. Clever old things, such excellent guard birds. The current day Scots Dumpy has been bred for at least the last hundred years in Scotland. These fancy feathered birds have different colorings, black and cuckoo are their traditional breed colors, and they're some of the more beautiful chickens out there. Also good layers as well. It sounds rude, but it's actually not. It just means that they can lay a lot of eggs. Number six, the modern game chicken. From the shortest legs to the longest, these guys look like a chicken that someone has done a stretch Armstrong number on. 
These crazy tall, long-legged, long-necked modern game chickens are now kept purely as an ornamental bird, but it does have a much darker history. Cockfighting used to be a popular and gross pastime in Britain. The blood sport was made illegal in 1849, however enthusiasts of these fighting chickens decided to actually breed a version of the bird to take to chicken shows instead. Now, it all does sound a little bit sus if you ask me, but if they say so. Anyway, if you look at the strange birds, you can actually see their heritage in their upright stance and really abnormally long legs. These were features that were desirable in a fighting bird, the legs and beak being the weapons in a cockfight. Modern game chickens may have shaken off the fight to the death history of their ancestors, but they still look pretty mean. This chicken is going to want the aisle seat on that flight, that's for sure. And if I were you, I wouldn't really argue with them. Number 5. Sicilian Buttercups The frilly, pretty, ornamental bird with a completely unique comb – remember, that's the wobbly bit on the top of their head that's shaped like a flower. The Sicilian Buttercup not only wears a floral headdress, but she also has some beautiful gold and black feathers along with green legs. <laughs> this Chuck is a snappy dresser. They also have a reputation for being a little bit flighty and chatty. But these busy birds remain firm favorites in Sicily and have made the journey from the old country all the way across the Atlantic to become a popular bird in the good old US of A. With all the colors of the rainbow amongst the hen and the rooster, these funny birds are considered entertaining and good fun by their dedicated backyard breeders. However, the chickens do pick some funny places to roost. They like to stay outside and will hang out up in trees if given a chance. Turns out, this funny bird might be having an identity crisis. Number 4. Seabright Chickens Now, these are some really pretty chickens. All dressed up in lace and teeny weeny, the Seabright Chicken has a dedicated group of followers and delights wherever it goes. The Seabright Chicken's history is rather long, though. It's believed that the bird was named after the guy who actually developed them during the late 18th century and early 19th centuries. <laughs> this guy was what is euphemistically known as a gentleman farmer. It basically means rich guy who owned land but wouldn't know a plow if it hit him on the rear end. Anyways, as is the delights of the aristocracy in England, this Seabright was dedicated to creating the frilliest of looking chickens that he could, and thank heavens that he did. I mean, where would the world be without this chicken? I shudder to think. Silliness aside, these striking looking bantams do make pretty pets and are friendly little chickens, making them popular even to this day. And if you want a little dinky chook that you can hold in the palm of your hand, the Seabright may be the one for you. Number 3. Cream Leg Bar Chicken this bird is all about those blue eggs. Those other chickens like boring old white eggs and brown eggs, they've got nothing on the cream leg bar's snazzy blue eggs. If you're bored of standard chicken egg colors and you need more fun in your egg box, then look no further. The cream leg bar also has the added benefit of being super cute, and they grow a little crest of feathers behind their comb. That's the red wobbly looking thing on the top of a chicken's head. Their particular frilly charm is that their crest actually looks like a little bonnet. Oh, and these are demure ladies of impeccable breeding, worthy of a Jane Austen novel. However, the ladies do have street smarts as well, and they're aware of when a predator is near. They'll even make a bunch of fuss and take some evasive actions as well. Such clever chickens, really. A rather unladylike habit that they have, though, is that they make massive messes. They're really into foraging, even to the point of neurosis, and they'll trash your garden in the process. So I guess it really depends on how much you want those luxury blue eggs. Number 2. The Ixworth Chicken 
The Exworth chicken would be created to be fast growing with the intention to produce quality meat. Developed in 1930s Exworth in Suffolk in the UK, this breed of chicken was created by the wonderfully named Reginald Appleyard. These birds are really quite amazing to look at with pure white feathers and a fancy white tail. They also feature a bright red comb and wattles. That's the wobbly, flappy bit of skin that dangles below the bird's beak area. In the 1970s, there was a moment when it really looked a little bit ropey for this British breed. Like many chickens during the decade, the Exworth suffered near extinction. During that decade, many historic and ancient breeds had actually fallen out of favor with small coop keepers, as the way that people lived, and more importantly obtained their food, changed completely in the era. Where they were yesterday, this morning we're gonna move them forward. And, you know, the benefits of having... It was easier and cheaper to just go buy your food from a shop rather than grow and raise your own. However, if it weren't for a few enthusiasts, and no doubt a few attempting the self-sufficiency craze of the time, this breed and many others may have died out completely. Number 1. Naked Neck Chicken now, this chicken does have something of a Nosferatu vibe about it, that's for sure. And as the naked neck chicken hails from Transylvania, perhaps there's a good reason for that. What a weird and long and scrawny neck this bird has. The Transylvanian naked neck chicken is what happens when people try to make a breed of chickens that is especially good for eating and also a bit easier to pluck. Creepily though, this bird seems to have been literally designed as close to pre-plucked as possible while still being able to keep warmish. Although I imagine they'd appreciate a nice woolly scarf on a particularly chilly day, they're susceptible to a spot of sunburn if they don't get enough shade in the summer. With 50% fewer feathers than other breeds, the hard work of plucking these birds for the crock pot is already halfway complete. They're a very popular breed for cooking, as their reputation for making a particularly tasty roast chicken would suggest. These funny looking birds are kept by many in France just for that purpose. So, bon appetit. Now, I never actually knew that there were so many weird chicken breeds out there, and also so many talented ones as well. Which of the ones on our list surprised you the most? Or are you just hungry for those chicken tendies now? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.